Hey guys, what's going on? Rob from clicksgeek.com. And today's video is very, very simple. This is more for beginner based um, training. This is how to find and what to do with your Google Ads remarketing tag or retargeting ad. And basically, um, how you find it in your Google Ads account and how you're supposed to set it up on your landing pages or your website. So, real, real simple, guys. This is a quick video. Um, so, you're going to log in to your Google Ads account. You're going to come up here to tools and settings. You're going to have this little drop down box here. You're going to come over to audience manager. We're going to let that open and we're going to create a new list to uh, track for remarketing. And then we're going to get the tag and install it, or at least I'll show you how, how and where to install it, how it works. All right, so you can see here we have all of our lists here. We have a ton of different things. But all you're really going to do is click this blue plus sign, right? You're going to go to website visitors. You have a few options here, app users, YouTube users, customer list, um, custom combination. But for today, we're just talking about setting up basic remarketing list, right? So we're going to do website visitors. You can name your list. So let's just say uh, if you're a... Uh, What's it called? Let's just do auto detail guy. Auto detail XYZ main website. Because that's what we're gonna re we're gonna retarget is the main website. We're gonna do visitors of a page, and then you'll put your website here. Right? <clears throat> And that's it. That's all you're gonna do. So you're gonna put your, you're gonna paste your website here. You're gonna name your list. You want to pre-fill. Um, I always do this unless you know there's terrible traffic that's been going to the page that you're trying to retarget. You want to have a clean list. Start with an empty list. If you're just using your main website and it's pretty much just a regular website, you just you can pre-fill it and it'll actually capture people who visited your website in the last 30 days into your new list. Membership duration. People stay in this. Uh, audience for 30 days. It's a maximum up to 540 days. I personally always do the maximum 540 days, so my list is always um, growing continuously and not just emptying out every 30 days. So I would do 540. You can put a description for your list. Totally up to you. It doesn't really matter. Create your audience. It's going to create your new list. Perfect. And you're going to come over here in this left column and go down to audience sources. Choose that. Google Ads tag, right? Details. You can see here is a little stats from our tag, which honestly I don't I think it's only set up on ClickSkeek, I'm not really sure. Tag, we're gonna come down here to this little drop down box, tag setup. Install the tag yourself. It's gonna give you a little bit of instruction right here, but it's really simple. You're just gonna copy this code and you're gonna paste this code on all of your landing pages between the head tags or if it's your website on every page of your website between the head tags and there if you're using a WordPress website there is um, plugins that make this much easier I think they're just called like Google Ads remarketing plugin or something like that and you, it's just one you can paste it basically you can download that plugin and paste it in the plugin and the plugin automatically disperses it into all of your pages in the head tag which makes that much easier otherwise you gotta manually put this code into each page of your website in the head tag and once you do that you're going to immediately start being able to track visitors to your website and capture them into your remarketing list so pretty simple that's really all i got for you guys today um, if you have any questions about this uh, video or setting up remarketing tags anything like that just drop down in the comment section uh, besides that i'll see you guys in the next video